everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with day 13 to day 15 of my December daily. For this day, I decide to go with blue. Now, when I create my album, I don't choose a few specific color and go with that. I kind of go through everything and the only thing I kind of make sure is that the pages that are going to be next to each other, that they coordinate well, which you know, pretty much every color, they're not going to clash. <laughs> so that's not a big worry. So I'm decided on blue for this one. And I'm looking through some of our digital files, which is the peppermint numbers, which is the perfect uh, day counter, if you will, for your December daily. We have them split in two on your page. So you have the white text or the white font at the top and the black text at the bottom. And so you get a choice whether you wanna use your black text or your white text. So this year I decided that I was definitely going to be successful with my December daily. If, you know, if you're like me at the beginning of the year, you kinda of make some goals, right? I'm gonna get this done and I'm gonna get that done. And then here we are in November and I'm looking back at my goals and there's not a lot of goals that I was able to accomplish at this point. So right now I'm working on making sure that I finish my Goodreads goal, that's the one thing. And the second thing, I'm pretty sure that I said that I wanted to finish my uh, 2019 December daily, but I wanna make sure that I have my 2021 December daily done. So I'm working on this one first, which I'm thinking that I will be done with this by the middle of November. And then I'm definitely gonna be working on my 2019, which I only have about six pages left to put together. And then I gotta sit down and print all the photos. But I think I'm kind of in the mood right now. I'm really, uh, getting a lot of things done. Actually, I get up every morning and that's what I want to work on. I want to work on my December daily. And it's one of those things that for me, if I start on a project like that, I can't work on it one day this week and then two weeks from now work on it again. I have to say, okay, every day I'm going to spend about two hours working on this project until it's done. Because the minute I stop working on it, it goes on the back burner. And that's just my personality. And if your type of personality is, you can say that every Monday you're gonna work on that and that's what you're gonna do, that's awesome. But for me, that's not how it works. So for this page here, um, I'm using pretty much all of our in digital prints. So we have quite a few digital prints uh, as you can tell right here, we have the peppermints. We have them that they have numbers so that you can, you know, do day one to day 31. And then we have regular peppermints. We have Christmas lights. We have them in two different shapes, I guess. One of them has the gold little bulb on the bottom and more pointy. And then the other one is more rounded. We have several different trees. We have the simple trees and then we have trees that are potted. We have trees that are undecorated or partially decorated and then fully decorated. So you could put them on your layout um, that way. And okay, so, and we have Santa Claus, we have reindeers, we have Santa Claus with a mask on, reindeer with a mask on, we have a full body reindeer. And right now Josh is working on a whole bunch of new ones for this year. So our files are PNGs, so you can cut them with your Cricut and I believe your Silhouette too. You would have to tweak it because you'd have to um, put the registration mark, but then you could cut them out with your Silhouette. And coming in the new year, I don't think it's gonna happen before Christmas, but we are looking at making some sticker sheets also and possibly, um, just printing the full sheets, the eight and a half by 11, and selling them that way, because I've had quite a few people ask me if I would do that because they don't have any printers at home. So they wouldn't be cut for you, but you would get the whole eight and a half by 11 sheet, and then you could fussy cut them yourself. 
So when I work on these pages, the first thing I do is pick up the background and then I decide on the cardstock I'm going to use for my photos. I always pick a white cardstock. I, I cut all my pictures at the same size or all the background at the same size, three by three and two by twos. Now some of those will house pictures. Some of those might be journaling. I'll decide it on the day of. But what I can do though is the you know day 14, I can look and say, okay, I can take one, two, three, four, five, six pictures, or I can take five pictures and leave one of those for journaling. Another thing that I'm going to do for prepping for December daily before December 1st is I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna make a list of the different things that I want to take pictures of in December. And it might seem like, well, you know, why don't you just take pictures every day? But I find that if you have sort of a goal or a list, you'll probably take pictures of something that you wouldn't have thought of, or by making the list, it'll make you think of something else. So I'm going to definitely be putting on that list, even stuff that is kind of, um, you know, you think, well, duh, I would take a picture of that, like the Christmas tree, the Christmas decorations, and, you know, making pictures of taking cookies. Because a lot of times I find that we get involved in, you know, the making of whatever you're doing and might not necessarily think of taking a picture of that. So if you have it in a list and every day when you get up you look at that list you it might spark a memory or you know not a memory but it might spark something that oh you know i'm gonna today i have time i'm gonna make cookies for december and i'm gonna take pictures of it so the last day i'm gonna do in this video is day 15 and i'm gonna do uh yellow and browns and i love doing colors that are not necessarily like Christmas you know the red and the greens or the golds and the blues and the blues and silvers I love having non-traditional Christmas colors and I love brown and yellow together so the first thing I did was choose the background then I decided on doing brown and white cardstock I decided I cut the number 15 out of the brown peppermint and this is a new color for this year so for this one here i am going to use some little cards that i had cut apart and i'm going to use one of those page protectors that i had put some digital prints inside and a little bit of sequins i put quite a bit of embellishment on each page but i don't rule out that when i'm going to add the pictures to all of these I'll probably add a few more embellishments and also little words, you know, talking about uh, maybe outlining what we did that day. Another thing, if I get to day 15 and it doesn't really go with the pictures, I can just easily swap out the days. That's not a big deal. This is definitely one of our favorite albums to flip through. And I don't know, it's just nice to have an album where you, we just have day-to-day -day stuff. And I mentioned before, I've tried doing Project Life and I didn't get far into it. I think that's a huge commitment to scrap, you know, 52 weeks out of the year and basically every day of that year. But taking one month and scrapping everything that we did in that month, that seems a little bit more doable and by the end of the month I'm kind of glad that the month is done but the next year I love looking at all you know all the pages and to see everything that we did in that month of that specific year so let me know in the comments down below do you do December daily is this if you didn't but this year is your first year let me know if uh, you just started doing December daily and if you're excited about it. But that's it. That's going to complete day 15. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. 
Bye.